Okay, so when we have our gimbals, one thing we often find ourselves needing to do is we need to push the limits further and further of the type of lens we can get on these amazing gimbals. And I know I'm one of those guys that really loves the look of telephoto lenses. And one of my all time favorites of all time is the Canon EF 70 to 200, which I have right here. And I've actually run into a lot of problems in the past in trying to balance this on my older gimbals. And one of the main reasons why I bought the DJI RS3 Pro combo was specifically because it had these extra couple inches in the back here that I could get my uh, big lens. And I finally did it. And really when you look down at it, the thing that serves as the base to start getting this whole thing set up is the plate. And actually, if you look here, I am actually not using a DJI plate. This is a small rig plate. This is the small rig extended quick release plate, 3031, I believe it is. I'll put a, a name up here. But this right here is a fantastic plate. I did a whole review on it. I'll put a link up there if you're interested in seeing it. But it just really frees up what you need to do on the camera. The other part of it that I think is very important is I then got a Manfrotto 577 quick release plate because I love Manfrotto plates. That's what I use on everything. And it allows me to just quickly slip this and slip it out. So that's really how I built the base of it. And really when you're building the system, I don't have the motors on right now. This is the key if you're trying to get a long system. It's actually this vertical axis is right here. This is what I found to be the most difficult part. And as you can see, I've got this thing pretty much perfectly balanced. And if you look, I just clear, just barely clear, which is like that little RS3 Pro gives you that clearance that lets you do it. And what I found is I needed to take my lens and make sure I'm mounting from the lens and not the camera itself. And I just need to push it forward. And that's what that extended base plate from Small Rig does. It lets you go out there and do that. Now, if you don't have a Small Rig base plate, there is an extended uh, flat type of base plate that's very similar to this now in the RS3 Pro that wasn't in the RS2, just in case you wanted. You'd probably get away with the same thing. But uh, there's a lot of reasons why I love the Small Rig base plate. And that's what it is. And then what's great now is I can just cut this thing on. And you can see I have a perfectly balanced gimbal now to get those really, really cool 70 to 200 shots. And if you haven't tried a long telephoto or gimbal shot, I recommend doing it. Really, really makes your gimbal footage stand out. And what's great is I can get it now and I can just basically have all the clearance that I need out of the light, but you can see there. And I can go ahead and now really, really get a really, really beautiful set of shots that I don't normally get. Anyway, I know this is a simple video, but I just wanted to make it because I know I was really discouraged all the time just trying to get a big lens balance on my camera. I felt like I just could never quite get it right. And I want to let you know it is possible. Just go out there and keep on doing it. And really, it's all about where you get this plate on your camera to get it perfectly balanced and you'll be good to go. All right, guys, but here we have to say this. Go ahead and leave me in the comments down below. Yeah, go there, keep on shooting. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.